Welcome in the third section of our course. In this section, we'll see how to design microservices. We'll start from looking at the domain-driven design-oriented microservice. When we have a big domain that needs to be modeled in our microservice, classes and everything related to our code should be split in the proper way. We'll see how to apply domain-driven design to split our classes into proper packages. We'll be using bounded context to deal with large models. We'll compare three business contexts. First will be the biggest one, then smaller and even smaller. Next, we'll be designing API with the bounded context in mind. So we will try to extract what's needed. In the last video, we will see how to communicate between independent bounded context within a boundary of microservice. So we'll see how to create a component that will be loosely coupled between domains, but still allow us to communicate between contexts. In the first video, we'll be looking at the domain-driven design-oriented microservice. So firstly, we'll be looking at the bounded context in our application. We'll find a three main contexts. Next, we'll start from creating notifications bounded context and we'll try to split that smaller context into proper packaging structure. So here is our entry point to our domain of microservice. We have three main business domains inside of our service. First domain is a booking. Booking has a lot of components, we will be looking at this domain in the next video, but let's right now focus on the bigger picture and then we'll go into notifications. Next domain is destinations. So this is a second domain, second domain of our microservice that allows us to search for destinations. Also, it will be a separate video on that domain. Next, we have a component event path, but also this will be in the last video because this is a package that allows us to communicate between bounded contexts. And finally, we have notifications bounded context. This is a bounded context that encapsulates everything related to notifications from our microservice. So let's go deeper into that package. So we have the following split. Our package notifications bounded context has three inner packages. First is an API, second one is domain, and third one is an infrastructure. So let's start from the API. API is just a controller. So this is an entry point to our domain. So if you want to interact with the notification bounded context, we should go through API. API is just a notification controller that allows us to send message to the topic greeting, and this is mapped to travel at. But this is a detailed implementation. We don't need to care about it right now. Second package is domain. Domain has everything that is domain specific, but those are only simple Pojo objects or entities. In this example, first we have hello message. This is a data transfer object that is used within notifications bounded context. Second class is also DTO. This is travel added notification. So this is a thing that is sent from the API to end user and back again. So those objects will be used to interact with our notifications bounded context. Last package that is crucial because has everything that glues together our application is the infrastructure package. Inside of the infrastructure, we have a framework specific logic. So in this example, we have WebSocket config. So here is the internal package to our application. Classes within infrastructure should not be directly accessed by other domain contexts. In this example, this is a WebSocket config that is specific to framework. So in theory, we should be able to switch that with other framework and our domain and API should stay the same. So domain and API should be framework agnostic. 
in the ideal world. Sometimes we need to trade off and sacrifice that for the better code structure. But infrastructure is a key component for a specific framework. So if you want to supply implementation for a Spring framework or Java Enterprise Edition, we will have those things in the infrastructure and they both should implement some kind of interface.